Welcome to the Strong Geelong Bar Tutorial. <laughs> Welcome to the gym, first and foremost. Uh, we're stoked to have you on board. There is a few things about our gym that are a little bit different to your normal Globo gym. What's that movie? Like, um, dodgeball. Yeah, no, yeah, average Joe's, yeah. Um, there are a few things that are a little bit different to your normal Globo gym. Uh, one of the key things is the barbells. One, they're not cheap barbells, they're expensive, so please respect them. But two, we have a bit of a color system or like code system on the main barbells that you're gonna see that have very specific uses. So the first one that we've got here is, we're starting with our normal gym barbell. Our normal gym barbells are just red on the inside and they say muscle motion. These are 20 kilo barbells. They've got average knurling, normal knurling, relative whip, but uh, used for everything, right? You can use these for rack pulls, you can use these for squats, but you can use these for bench, you can use these for whatever the you want, right? Absolutely up to you. But then we start to get a bit more specific. This bar, with the yellow dot, is what we call a power bar. This is the next best thing to your average or generic gym bar. You can deadlift with this, you can squat with this, you can bench with this, you can do floor press with this. I don't really care what you use these bars for. Ideally, we wouldn't use them for rack pulls because it will ruin the bars if you do them on the pins, but you can use them for block pulls, you can use them for basically anything you want, including overhead press, etc., etc. all right? This is your power bar. All it means is that it's a little bit, uh, it's got a little bit higher tensile strength, which means it doesn't whip quite as much. They're quite stiff bars. Um, they're a normal gym bar thickness, so you won't feel any change in the shaft. Uh, shaft. <laughs> um, but these are just a great generic gym bar for you to use for all your lifts. The yellow sticker, all right? The next one. The big boy. This is our squat bar. We should have a blue sticker on it. Oh, it's running out, we'll replace that. But this is our squat bar. These are really easy to tell. If you pull one of these off the rack, it will feel really heavy and it will feel really thick. The squat bar is thicker in terms of the shaft. It is also quite a lot longer. I'm not real tall, but they're a longer bar. The loading pins are longer so you can fit more weight on them. The bar is thicker and they're 25 kilos. So these are a little bit heavier, thicker and longer in terms of barbell. You do not want to bench with these. You certainly don't want to deadlift with these um, because <laughs> I feel like shit. The knurling is a little bit sharper on these, especially we have three of these. We have a Goliath and a Sportscraft as well. So a few different brands, but they all kind of are the same. There's all 25 kilos. They'll all be a little bit thicker in diameter in the shaft and they'll all be a little bit longer in general. Um, this is a squat bar. Um, this color is blue. You'll see blue on the ends. My favorite bar is the deadlift bar. Deadlift bar will be red on the end. It's a red, good. Deadlift bar will be red on the end, also a little bit taller, quite a lot thinner in the hand, okay? Do not put this in a rack. Do not put this in a bench press. Uh, the knurling sharpness is important on these because that'll mean your grip, okay, for the most part. Um, they also have a lot more whip. These, when you see a bar bending or breaking because there's a lot of weight on there, and sometimes you see there's not a lot of weight on there and it's still bending, it might be because you're using a deadlift bar. It is a thinner diameter but it will have a greater amount of flexion in the bar, which will increase the breaking point, right? So when you see the bar kind of like bouncing or whipping around, that is because it's a deadlift bar. The other defining feature about the deadlift bar is there is no knurling in the middle, okay? So that is, if you don't see the sticker, the best place or the best way to tell is there is no center knurling on the deadlift bar, okay? Because it doesn't have to sit on your back or it's not gonna sit on any other part, it is just designed to be deadlifted and the knurling will come in a little bit further, all right? 
shorter kind of uh, length here as well. So this is the deadlift bar. Do not put this in a bench press, please. Do not put this in a rack. This is purely for deadlifting off the floor. The squat bar should not be used for anything besides squatting, but the power bars and the general gym bars can be used for everything. They are your general use bar. All the bars that are 15 kilos are exactly the same as the general gym bars. They're just five kilos lighter. They will be, or look and feel much the same, but feel very skinny in the hand. They are just female based gym bars. Okay, so a little bit thinner, five kilos lighter, but those can also be used for everything. But we do have our deadlift bar and squat bar, which have very specific uses.